This makeshift bridge leads to Kakuthuhu, one of about 20 communities in Dayang Chiftam in Sierra Leone's northern Kwenadugu district. The bridge is the main link between Dayang and two other chiefdoms, Katsungu and Bokombo Kayaka, to the rest of the country. But it collapsed on August 27, following over two days of heavy downpour. Residents say a huge tree fell in the middle of the storm and broke the bridge, leaving inhabitants of about two dozen communities between the three chiefdoms isolated. These pupils of the Roman Catholic Primary School of Kakuthuhu are the major victims. The both three chiefdoms, Diang, Kasungu, Bonkobo Kayaka, Naina the boundary. So now the bridge don't cut. Diang people they know you come out, then cross Kasungu. Kasungu people they know you come out, then cross Good Diang. Bongobo people they know you come out, then Good Diang. Diang people they know you come out, then Good Bongobo. It is very, very, very challenging for me. Very, very serious. Just a few steps into the bridge, this girl hesitated. Now, if you come on, I'll be in the school, eh? Hey, well, now this kind of bridge now will get here. So, who solution you want for that we do for for let you pass? For Popo, you for Tai, yeah? Yeah. Because you know, ever cross at this bridge, eh? Where the mommy Popo, yeah? For no more let the picking no yeah, fail in book. Do you have a mama for Popo? Do you have a mama big? And for Popo, do you have a big? For no more let the picking get away. For she had to be carried by her grandmother. This is what these people, some as young as four, have to go through daily to get to their school since the incident occurred. Concerned parents have to accompany their kids daily to help them cross the makeshift bridge that the villagers hastily constructed as temporary measure. But this parent says she and many others have decided to keep their kids at home in the face of continued downpour and resulting high tide off the Mawoloko River. I feel fine. Right now, four days today, I'm picking up the road school. The water don't take all over the place. We take away forgetful for a sign of the for cross. This is the main problem with the money we know. Because they, they cry, they want to go to school. We know, see for it now, they look at it, they don't see them. But I don't take all over the bridge. You know, sign of the for cross for go now. We don't know what you for do. Pass away for call for help no more. My brother, let help we. Let's help Papa government say they help we. Now we go get road. How picking they go survive with we are called together. Cloud are picking no well. Half a crown go now, hospital. Road no day. The bridge all was out of take place. How therefore do now? The original bridge was made by the villagers. It is rebuilt every year ahead of the raining season. Kakuthuhu lies about 20 miles from Kabala and it is separated from the Kabala Makene Highway by the bridge. It is also the shortest and most practical route for its inhabitant to Kondabaya, the chiefdom headquarters of Dayang. There is an alternative route from the community to some other parts of the district, but some residents say it entails a very long and costly journey that few people can afford. Ibrahim is particularly concerned about the effects of this situation on his people's education. The incident happened shortly before school reopened. He says over 90% of the over 180 pupils can only access the school through the bridge. The community is a group of people who live together, work together and share things in common. Can you clap for him? Let's clap for him. The district council chairman, Lawrence Tete Kabo, told Manu reporters that the Kakuthuhu bridge is just one of such problems in his district. And he appealed to the central government to intervene. To be honest, the Konadu district council, out of our own source revenue, will not be able to undertake that kind of project. So therefore, we are asking for government support. We are asking the ministry to please step in and support our districts with the construction of 
these two bridges and also the culvert leading to the McKinney Highway. Prior to this incident, Abraham and his staff were already contending with difficulties trying to run the school, the only learning institution in this area for about 10 communities in Jayang and Kasongo chieftains. The 28-year-old multitask as a teacher and a community health officer mediating between the people and health authorities. He says he has no idea who the elected councillors covering all three chiefdoms are because they never visit them. The closest health facility from Kakuthuhu is eight miles away in Lekenkoro and it cost 50 new leons from Kakuthuhu. This is a fortune for most people in this part of the country where they barely survive under poverty and deprivation. The school has six teachers, all of them members of the community and volunteering. Ibrahim is the only qualified one among them. With a teacher's certificate he acquired about six years ago, around the same time the school was established. His efforts trying to get himself approved by the Ministry of Basic and Senior Secondary Education for the last six years has been unsuccessful. This means that he has no salary and he and his five colleagues only rely on the goodwill of parents who are themselves barely surviving in the face of poverty and deprivation. The school receives subsidy, but Ibrahim says it is inadequate and always comes very late. His efforts to also enroll the school in the government's performance-based financing scheme has proven impossible. Me, I don't do me TC. I don't do me hate TC. But up to now, from 2018, we I sit my NCTV, you no know, approval. So I the strain and the teachers in the strain. And the school actually difficult for we to get funding. Difficult. But with the table thank you to the government and the NGOs, any NGOs where they can inspire for help with was medical business and the school program.